So what are you aware of, being the new you or the old you? Some of you have no fucking clue that you're doing this and that's why it isn't here yet. And then you keep saying, where's my manifestation? How long is this going to take? Well, bitch, when are you going to stop reacting? Oh, I have to stop reacting? I have to stop being the old me completely? I can't be the servant of two masters, Loz? What do you think I'm teaching you? Oh, I can't keep stalking the socials, going into the Facebook group and asking the same question and reiterating the circumstances over and over and over again and be the new me? Uh, no, bitch, you can't. You either are the new you or you're still a bit of the old you. Which is it? The way you show up in your life and the way you react should be telling you something about your self-concept. And if your self-concept isn't where you want it to be yet, your reactions will be bad. You'll have the same habitual reactions you used to. You might try and initiate things or push the 3D or do something in the 3D to make something happen. You might blow up in someone's face, get angry, get hurt, push them away, all because your old habitual reactions are still inside you because you haven't got rid of your old habitual thinking in your subconscious mind that's causing you to react that way. So in week two of the Mental Diet Diary, I focus on reacting because reacting will really fuck your manifestation up if you do it wrong. If you react outwardly, and I mean outwardly here in the 3D physically in the wrong way, you can mentally react, emotionally react, and physically react. And sometimes your physical reactions, like pushing someone away, getting in an argument, initiating, pushing, stalking, all of those things will actually fuck your manifestation up. Because it's telling your mind that your manifestation isn't here. It's telling your mind that you need to do something to make it happen. It's telling you that you're not there yet. You haven't got your specific person. You haven't got the money, blah, blah, blah. You're reiterating with your action the fact that it, your manifestation isn't here. And then you're messing your manifestation up. So your reactions should cease if you want to manifest what you want. Now, a lot of people say, oh, you can react any way you like and just tell your mind that it's okay that you reacted. Okay, fine, but how many of you have control over your thinking after you've reacted? How many of you can tell me honestly and be fucking honest because most of you aren't sometimes when you say stuff like this because you're using an excuse because you watch some other creator who said, oh, you can react and then just say, it doesn't matter what I do, I can't fuck this up. Okay, but what were you thinking after you did the thing? Were you spiraling a little bit in your mind and thinking, oh God, I, I shouldn't have sent that text message or oh, I wish I hadn't looked at those socials now, I can't stop thinking about the third party or I wish I hadn't gotten a fight with him, maybe he's never going to forgive me or oh my God, I've lost all that money, I'm never getting it back, I wish I'd never done that thing. How many of you have control of your mind after you've had that habitual, automatic, I can't control myself, I have no self-control, I think I need to do something to make something happen reaction in your physical 3D? I would say about 90% of you have no control over what you think afterwards. And that's how you fuck your manifestation up. Because then you start spiraling into your old thinking again and you go back to the old state of you, the state of the person who didn't have what they wanted, who thought they needed to do something to make something happen, who thought their specific person didn't love them, who thought they were poor, etc. And suddenly you've gone straight back all with your habitual reactions because you're still the old you. Because the reaction came from the old you. So if you're still doing the same old reactions you used to, um... Have you been listening to me? Because I'm trying to tell you how to be in the new state of you. And if you're doing the old reactions, are you really in the new state of you yet? Fuck no. And then you're going to blanket it, are you, over the thing you just fucking did by saying, it doesn't matter what I do, I can't fuck this up. And meanwhile, your brain's going, yes, you can, bitch. You've completely fucking screwed this up. He's never talking to you again. Why'd you blow up at him like that? Why'd you push him away? Why'd you act like a psycho? Why'd you stalk the socials? We can't stop looking at that third party and thinking about that third party all fucking day now. Why have you done that to me? And you're going, it doesn't matter what I do. I can't fuck this up. And your brain's going, yeah, bitch, you really have. You've really fucked us now. This is all we can think about, this third party. This is all we can think about, that loss of money. This is all we can think about, the fact that he said fuck off and die. This is all we can think about, how we just screwed up having an argument. This is all I can think about now, how much you fucked this up. Now, so many of you watch this and think, Loss is telling me I'm going to fuck it up. I don't really understand where this whole you can't fuck it up thing came from, okay? You can. I'm <laughs> really sorry, guys, but if you can't fuck it up, how come your manifestation isn't here? Ask yourself that. Okay, if I'm being patient, I'm really living in the end, where, 
Where is it? Could it be me? Could it be my habitual reactions to life? Could it be me blanketing over shit I've done with blanket affirmations that some idiot told me on the internet saying, doesn't matter what I do, I can't fuck this up, or I'm limitless, or everything works out in the end, that, that, I, that I continue to do the old stuff? So I'm trying to be in the new awareness of me, but I'm still doing and thinking the old stuff. Guys, you either are the new you or you aren't. You either are the new you who doesn't react like the old you or you aren't. So which is it? Because this new you will manifest to a new reality. This old you won't. You can't be both. As Neville Goddard said, you cannot be the servant of two masters. You can't be serving the old you who reacts and gets in fights and stalks the socials and thinks she isn't loved and then also think you're loved, you're wanted, your specific person loves you so much, you've got rid of the third party, you're married. If you're thinking you're married and you're doing all your visualizations and bloody, 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 blah, blah, and you're trying to live in the new state of you, and then you go and stalk the socials and see the third party and you go straight back to the thinking that you're not loved by them and not chosen, are you in the new state of you or not? Are you fucking it up or not? Are your reactions to life messing it up? Yes. You manifest what you're aware of. Are you aware you are chosen and with your person or are you aware of the third party? Are you aware that you've got all the money or do you keep thinking about what you did to screw up at, you know, some transaction and lose money? Are you living in the state of you're forgiven and you're back together with your person or do you keep ruminating about the argument you just had and thinking he hates you? Are you being the new you or the old you? Are you still reacting like the old you? What do you think is going to happen? You're not fully the new you yet. When you react, you're being the servant of two masters. You're not only not living in the end, but you're not being the new you. You're not in the end of the new you when you react because you're telling your mind, I'm not the new me yet. So I'm going to react like the old me or I'm going to do something to push this along or I don't think this is going to manifest. So I'm going to do something in the 3D to make this happen because I don't really believe I can manifest things and I'm not really the new me yet. If you don't know, please come and join the squad right now and get the Mental Diet Diary it goes for three weeks. It's a 21-day thought and progress tracker. We are, we are reiterating in here what we need to be doing and what we shouldn't be doing, giving ourselves scores every day. Then at the end of every week, we've got a tracker showing our progress and we're exposing it inside the squad to everyone else to keep ourselves accountable. And it's shocked the shit out of people. The latest progress report we just did, the first one, people are like, oh my God, I had no idea how many times I was reacting. I had no idea how many times I was thinking the old story. I had no idea how many times I was arguing in my mind. I had no idea how many times I was fucking with the 3D. Fuck. No wonder it's not here. If that's you, come and join the squad for 35 bucks right now before this course ends at the end of August and it becomes a full course on my website, which will be much more expensive than 35 bucks. If you don't know what you're thinking and you're wondering why the fuck your manifestation isn't here and you're not aware you're doing shit like reacting or living in the old you in your mind, come and get the tracker, please, the diary, because it will really shock you. Then you can do the rest of the course as well because the course is already in there, four videos, four workbooks. You'll get the whole of Fuck the 3D of the course plus all the mental diet diaries plus our last week of the course, which will really reiterate, reiterate what it is you need to do plus an affirmations book. It's only 35 bucks, guys. It's a no-brainer. Plus, you watch me coaching in there, watching me coaching people one-to-one, -one, and you can watch all the replays. They're all there. Then I go live every Friday to answer your questions. Then there's mentors to answer your questions in the Q&A forum. Some of you are nowhere near aware of what it is you're doing, and you have no self-control over your reactions to life, and then you wonder why your manifestation isn't here. That's why. Because you're not aware. You're not aware of what you're doing, and you're not aware of what you shouldn't be doing. That's what I teach you guys, to become aware of what you're fucking thinking and doing and stopping that and becoming the new you. But you can't become the old, the new you if you're still the fucking old you and you. Right, guys, that's the end of my rant. <laughs> so, guys, please come and join Fuck the 3D. It's a course, a mini course that's now extended as a full two-month course inside my squad, Subconscious Laws. It's at subconsciouslaws.com or in my link tree. The squad is only 35 bucks a month. You can cancel any time. You can stay with us for the whole year, however long you like. Most people stay in there because... It's so valuable. It's only 35 bucks for all that value. 
Okay, it's a really great supportive community. We all keep each other accountable in there. There's no fucking bullshit. Everyone knows what they're doing. There's no dickheads in there spouting law of attraction crap. There's no confused people in there. And if they are confused, they're, they're corrected immediately. So don't be scared because so many people know their stuff in there and there's so much success in there. If you go to the main page, the success stories come out thick and fast every day because everyone in there gets this. And if they don't, they're learning. And if they don't, they're almost there. Whereas my free group, subconsciousoz.com on Facebook, there's a lot more lost people because they've come from everywhere and other groups and woo-woo fucking manifestation pages on Facebook that recommended me from some law of attraction bullshit and they're confused as hell and they're in there talking about the Lionsgate portal and letting go and confused as fuck. The people in the squad aren't confused. If you want to get your head right, go and join it now, the squad, for 35 bucks. Get the mental diet diaries. Get on top of your thinking. Stop fucking reacting to life and fucking your manifestation up, and then you'll know why it isn't here yet, and you know how to fix it. All right, guys? Okay, now I'm going to answer the questions, but I'm so thirsty. I can't quench my thirst. You know when you're so thirsty, you can't you can't quench your thirst? Hi, guys. Currently on day five. Good. Hi, Lord. So happy to see you. Oh, wonderful. Doing the course. Wonderful. Oh, it's just, just, just jumped all the way to the bottom. The squad is so worth it. Oh, thank you, darling. Law of vibration. Oh, my God. If anyone was talking about the law of vibration in the squad, I I, I swear. Assume they'd probably be kicked or suspended for talking bullshit. <laughs> Guys, hang on. Where are we? Laws, why people attract third parties? Because they think they're not chosen. They think they're not good enough and they assume they're not and they assume someone else is going to come along or they just send out the thoughts constantly that they're not going to be chosen. So they're not chosen. That's why. Um, where am I? Hang on. I've got, I've got to go right to the top, guys, because I've it just jumped all the way to the bottom. Okay. Any tips on changing the story of SP? I rewrote the story, but things keep popping up. Well, what's the story of you, Uni? Why do you keep thinking those thoughts about him or her, right? So, guys, a lot of you don't understand. You can just ch change the story of them, but it won't ma make much difference. The story of them came from the story of you. What's the story of you? I'm not chosen. Is that why he's not prioritising you? Because you feel unchosen, unprioritised? Because when you were a kid, your dad was an alcoholic and no one ever prioritised you, so now you assume he's not going to prioritise you. So you can kind of try and change the story of him all you like, but where did that story come from? You. Right? Don't look at my jar post, laws, but for real, it's been fun and eye-opening. Oh, I saw a cat. Look, guys, it's always eye-opening. It's eye-opening for me too. It's eye-opening how much negative shit you think. I'm just going to eat some salt, guys, because I literally... I think I've lost all my electrolytes or something. Mm, I'm still on the first week. That's all right, darling. Just do it at your own at your own pace. Just make sure you download them before the course ends. Hey, Loz, it was really on point, but recently lost my job and I'm still trying. Well, don't worry, Ryan. Guys, sometimes things happen. Shit happens in the three day. Oh, thank you, Kat. Look. Shit happens, guys. And it doesn't mean that you've done this wrong. It just means that you had some shitty assumptions you didn't realise, they manifested, now what? Now you can fix it. Uh -huh. When you become good at manifestation consciously, it doesn't mean shit doesn't happen. So many people think that. It's such bullshit. Oh, thank you, Daniel. Really happy to see you today. Oh, good, darling. Well, you're the best. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, share the live. Hang on. Why is it that some people say they don't waver but be manifesting through those people for a year? So they're not being honest, Julie, because they have no fucking idea what they're thinking. If they really were on top of their thinking and they really were the new them and they really had created the new story of their specific person and they were really living in the end, their person would be back. So they're full of shit. They have no idea what they're thinking. Really thinking. Really thinking. I, I don't know what you guys want me to tell you. I think some of you want me to bullshit you like so many other creators do. Doesn't matter what you do, you can't fuck it up. Just do this one robotic affirmation and everything will change for you. And and they're bullshitting you. They're not telling you that, oh, actually, the way this works is it's what you're consciously aware of and unconsciously aware of. So I'm just teaching you what to be consciously aware of, but I haven't actually uncovered for you the unconscious thoughts you've been having that are actually screwing up all these techniques I'm giving you. So really, you've been doing this for a year, this stuff I've taught you, but you haven't uncovered all the unconscious, subconscious thinking you've been having that's screwing it up. So you've just wasted an entire year of your life. Oh, thanks, bitch. Why didn't you tell me that? Because I'm not Loz and I can't uncover people's deep, dark, fucking hidden subconscious thinking. 
I'm just a manifestation coach. I just teach surface shit because I don't understand this. But so many people watch you. Yeah, because I sell pipe dreams. I sell magic and people want to buy it. Dreams my SP after doing sats. Is this normal? It's very consistent. How the fuck do I know, darling? Give it whatever meaning. I don't know what it means. You give it the meaning. It means everything. It means nothing. It means they're coming back. It means they love you. What do you think it means? I'm not a big reactor anymore. Thanks to you, Loz. Oh, good, darling. Hey, Loz. I love revision, but I keep walking around the house saying, no, that didn't happen. Haha. -ha. Well, guys, if you keep rethinking it after you've revised, you haven't fully revised. When you fully revise it, you really forget it. Mm -hmm, that's okay. Keep telling it hasn't happened. Maybe they listen to dumb people saying, just get in the state. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Need to pass a board exam. Two weeks, please help. Well, you won't be passing that, Jolie. Sorry. So did you hear what I just said? You have to be in the state of it's already done. You have to live in the end of it's done. So are you in, in the end of it's done or are you in the state of, oh my God, I need to pass this. Are you in the state of I've passed, I passed my exam with flying colours. Isn't it so great that I passed my exam? Isn't it so great that I'm now a certified whatever you would get when you pass that exam? You're not in that state. You're in the state of help me and please and help. Whenever someone's in the state of help me and they're right, please, you, you won't get that manifestation. I'm so fucking sorry to burst your bubble, but you're in the state of neediness and victim and it's not here. Go and watch all my videos about not being the victim, about living in the end of getting what you want. Tell yourself what I just said. You've passed your exam. You passed with flying colours. Live in that end, please. Also, two SPs are way better. Oh, you've got two SPs. Explain a little bit about manifesting for them versus yourself. What do you mean? You shouldn't be manifesting for them. No one should be manifesting for them. What are you on about? Who have you been watching? Guys, look, do you mean you're trying to change them instead of changing you? Or do you mean focusing on SPs instead of self-concept? You should always be focusing on your self-concept, guys. It's you that's causing it. If they don't love you, you cause that with your thinking that they don't love you or you're thinking that you're not lovable. So what's the question? Manifesting for them versus yourself. Or are you saying to change them? Like, he's all fucked up. He's got mental health issues at the moment. I'm going to fix him with my mind. Is that what you're talking about? No, no, don't bother. Why don't you fix your mind that, that manifested in a person who doesn't prioritise you and came in with all kinds of fucked up mental health issues because you don't feel prioritised and chosen. He won't be choosing you no matter how much you focus on him. His mental won't change because you haven't changed yours. Is that what you mean, Ashley? We're not focusing on them ever. You can tell a new story about them. You can see them differently. You can see for the blind man. But this whole exercise has to be like mostly about you. We're never focusing on them. There is no other. They are you. They are you pushed out. The fuck are you focusing on them for? They're you. I don't feel prioritised in life, so I keep attracting men with mental health issues. Well, bitch, maybe if you started feeling prioritised, you wouldn't fucking manifest those men in, would you? Oh, fuck. <laughs> right? See how it's you? It's not them. Probably not being honest with themselves about their thinking. I think most people don't even know how to uncover their thinking, guys. That's the biggest problem. I'll snap, wait, I didn't realise I mentally react. Uh, guys, you're all mentally reacting half the time. Hello, darling, get your package yet? No, Pamela, I didn't. I got Jenna's birthday present to me the, like two weeks early. Sitting over there, I have it open, but I'll get a notification. They'll tell me and he'll definitely tell me because I told him off one time for not notifying me and he always notifies me straight away as soon as the post comes in. So I can't wait, darling. He'll probably be here in time for my birthday. What do you mean? I just want to know so I don't make the same mistake. What are you replying to, Julie? What's something Jenna said? Well, listen to what Jenna said. Or something has interfered intentionally. Has interfered intentionally. Or someone. What do you mean, Dan? No one interferes intentionally. You're thinking they have. Guys, it's all you. It's you pushed out. No one's doing anything to you. You understand? How do I manifest meeting his family? You see yourselves together. You see yourselves all going out or going for a family dinner at his house or hugging all his family members and them accepting you. Have a visualisation of that, darling. I have to pass a board exam this month that costs $900. Any tips? I just told you, darling, you're not in the state of past it already. So you won't be able to find the money and you won't pass. And then you'll come to me and say, why didn't it happen? And I'll say, you have to be in the state of having already done it and already passed the exam and already been able to afford to pay for it. Oh, fuck, I'm in the state of, I can't do that. It won't happen. And writing helps or give me tips. How do I get my SP to message me if he's in Europe and we haven't spoken in three weeks? So you've got a story that because he's in Europe, he's probably fucking other girls or he's lost contact with you because he's too busy or too preoccupied with what he's doing or he doesn't care. That's how you think, 
Of course he cares. He has to talk to me every day. He misses me. He's holiday shit without me. He has to talk to me every goddamn day or he thinks I'm off with someone else. Think that. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. Dang, I didn't realize ignoring them sometimes is technically reacting. Guys, if you're doing shit to get a reaction out of them, I used to do that to guys all the time. I used to force them to give me attention by ignoring them, blanking them, not replying to their messages, being out with them and not paying them attention. I would have a guy talking to me and I would blank him completely. I would make guys hold my handbag all night and follow me around like little puppy dogs just to prove their worth to me for about three hours and then they'd give up. And then I'd go, oh, what happened? Because I was trying to get them to choose me because I felt unchosen. No amount of ignoring is going to make me feel any less chosen. It's me thinking I'm not chosen that's making me push people away and ignore them to get a reaction to prove that I'm chosen. It's got nothing to do with them. And eventually they'll just give up and go, you know what, I don't want to choose this girl. This is too fucking hard. She keeps ignoring me. She's a fucking loony tune. Right. I definitely had that mindset. Oh, Jason, you've just got to forget it happened and not care about it. Yes, guys, if something shit happens in your 3D, go, oh, well, I caused that. Okay, now what? Like the live guys. Oh, thank you, darling. The old me, not not no more. Good, darling. Not anymore, thanks to you, Lois, and a few others. Oh, good, Jason. Absolutely lost my job two weeks ago, and I'm still trying. Well, you're in the state of no job. You're in the state of no man's, as he says in Sex and City. So are you in the state of employed or unemployed? So get in the state of employed in your mind, please, if you want your job back or a job. We can't react. I almost did today when someone didn't leave when closed, but I assumed he wouldn't. My bad. <laughs> when you assume they won't leave and then they don't leave and you're like, fuck, I did that. I manifested 66K last week. Oh, I think I saw your success story in the Facebook group. Ah, oh, amazing, darling. Congratulations. How'd you do that? How do I get my SP to message me if we haven't spoken in three weeks? Why are you repeating the question? You're in the state of desperation. Listen to what I said. Hi, beautiful, powerful beings. Oh, Danielle. So do we restart our manifestations when we go back to that old mindset? You know, you're not restarting anything, guys. You're just starting fresh. Loz is not going to tell you to just get in the state. She helps people change themselves. Guys, it's impossible to just get in the state. How do you get in the new state? Change you and the outside world will reflect that. Loz helps people get sustainable results. Yes. Loz, why people attract third parties? I answered them. Okay, I'm at the bit where I saw before. Thinking you're not good enough, chosen, or SP doesn't want you. Yes. Because they focus on others and don't do the work for themselves. Yes. Oh, my God. You should see my menu board. We did some things today. Oh, really wonderful. Saying where is it, where is it is why. Yes. If you keep saying where is it, you're in the state of it's not here. Mm -hmm. Hi, Liz. How are you, darling? Need to pass a board exam this month. Any advice? I'm obsessed about it. Oh my God, you think? This is your third fucking time you've written it, Jolie. And I just fucking said to you, and I hope I get to the bottom of this page and you get a clue and the penny fucking drops, that your obsession about it is going to cause you to not pass the exam. You won't be passing that fucking exam anytime soon, nor will you find the 900 bucks because you're in the state of, I desperately need this. How many times have you desperately seen a desperate homeless person like this? <laughs> Do they get money? People just go, oh, fuck. Get away from me. That weird needy energy is giving me the fucking eek. I'm not even giving them 20 cents. That's what you're like. You're a homeless person needing the exam. Why don't you live in the end of? I have passed my exam with flying colours. I got that money so easily. I am a certified bloody blah now. But you're not. Because you're not listening to me. It is on TikTok. So I, if so, we'll check your page after this. What is it? Oh, Tanya's thing. Hey, Lois, it's been a long time. Oh, Sarah. Yes, see it pass. See yourself passing the exam. Things are great for me now. Yes, say that, darling. Not yet. I'm going to do a tour when I'm ready to post in the squad. Promise. Ah, oh, tour of the bakery. You can't truly be in the new state if you're repeating and affirming old stories. Yes, guys. Thank you for the gifts, darling. My ex, who was the same name as my SP, came back laughing my ass off. Ah, oh, funny. Birds full man. Um, hi, ma'am. Visualize me with SP and our happy family married. We have three teens, different partners. Yes, Jenny, what's the question? Guys, if you are going to put this in part one, part two, and you don't say part one, part two, I can't fucking find the rest. You're going to have to come to the Facebook group Subconscious Laws Squad and ask me on a Friday where you can write an essay from your notes. Just found out we're 10 weeks pregnant. I don't remember visualising that. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, did you want to have a family with him and be all back together and it'd be great? That's how that happened. Because you were living in the end of back together, living in the end of happy families. So... Are you happy about that? I don't know. I have a full-time permanent job. I have a boyfriend who loves me and we're about to move in together. Oh, wow, Sarah, really? Is this the Sarah? The Sarah from the old days, redhead Sarah? 
full-time feminine job. I have a boyfriend who loves me. I'm about to move in together. Is it the Sarah? <laughs> Um, well, that's wonderful, Jenny. Are you really, are you happy? How do I get my SP to message me? We have, oh, guys, if you repeat your questions, you're in such deep and desperate need energy. So much has happened. Oh, wonderful. I manifested you going live. Oh, good. Manifested the wrong one. What's the... <laughs> I really love you, Lois. Oh, Angelica. Just you being, spitting truths. Yes, Jenna. No, that's just means SP is coming next. Yes, say that. Need to, oh my God, if I see this thing about the passing the board exam anytime, I, I'm stressed. No shit, you're stressing me out just with these fucking questions. You're going to be blocked in a minute because you're not listening. Hi, Loz. What does it mean self-concept-wise if it, my SP tells me I'm too good for him? It means you think you're not going to get what you want. Things never work out for you. You're never chosen. So he just comes up with some fucking fat excuse. Or you've got a story about him that he's, you earn too much money and he's threatened by it or some fucking bullshit. Um, what are the reasons someone may feel they aren't chosen? The deeper issue, well, they could have something wrong with them. They could have had very strict parents and made them feel not enough. They could have been compared constantly to other siblings or whatever when they were younger. There's lots of different reasons. They could have alcoholic parents who didn't pay them enough attention and time and they felt like their parents prioritised something over them. Their parents could have been workaholics, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Track your mental diet in the squad. Get what you want. Stop sabotaging yourself. Be kept accountable. Squad members get it. Yes, love that. Um, can you manifest some to have a bigger you know? Oh, manifest someone to have a bigger you know? Of course you can. Just imagine having a great time. Imagine it feels so much better. Imagine it looks bigger. Imagine it is bigger. Imagine telling him how much bigger it is. Like, or not that it was before, but being like, oh, you're so huge. Mm -hmm. Imagine the problems. <laughs> I could get very graphic here, but imagine the problems you would have if it was overly large. Like Samantha in Sex and City, where she's like, how big can it be? And he walks towards her and she's like, <laughs> she's like, let's be friends. I had that experience once with a guy who was seven foot tall. I just wanted to see it because he was seven foot tall. Um, I manifested our house and we got it a heart. So much has happened last time since I was on here. Oh, you manifested your house. Oh, wonderful. Hey, hey, congratulations. Heck, I needed this this morning. Thanks for the, what? In the peach. Let's go. Oh, kick in the ass. <laughs> kick in the ass. Something in the beach. I stepped into it. I've stepped into my excitement finally. I love it there. Ah, oh, wonderful. It's, SC is self-concept, guys. Self-concept, yes. My friend just did it. That's how I know. And now I'm going to. Oh, wonderful. Need to part. Oh, my God. Jolly, you need to be blocked. If you ask that board exam question one more time, I am going to lose my shit. I think the old story, a lot. How can I stop? You've got to think the new story more. Nature abhors a vacuum. You can't just stop thinking the old thoughts. You've got to think the new ones and replace them, darling. Hi, Lois. Love your energy. Oh, thank you, darling. Let's set up camp here because we are staying in this excitement. Yes. If you join the squad, you get access to all your courses. Hello. Are you fucking for real? For 35 bucks, you expect to get all my courses. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> what? what do you think I am? A poor person sitting on the corner. Please just give me 35 bucks for all my hard work that's taken me two years of my life. Only give me $35 for all of that. No, darling, you get, fuck the 3D, you get make them obsessed, you get a lot of value, but you don't get all my fucking courses, hell no, because I have some self-worth. No, <laughs> no, darling. Lots, I'm fine, but you do get a discount on the mini courses. You get a 15% discount, okay? Yeah. Lots, I'm fighting my brain and thoughts so hard right now, it's crazy, I'm getting annoyed at this point. Guys, look, some of you might have to fight them because they're so shit. So, okay, when I first started this process, I had to fight my thoughts like a motherfucker. Like a fireman putting out fires every five seconds. Sometimes it feels like that, guys. Okay. Well, how bad do you want it? It's like when you first start off a exercise regime and you're obese. It's a bit hard at the gym at first. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been watching you for years. Wheels have come off in my triggered brain. I'm going to invest. Oh, Lisa. Okay, look, guys. Some of you do watch me, okay? And you think you've got it. But because you haven't uncovered the really hidden subconscious thinking you're still fucking things up or you still get triggered. And then you go, fuck. So just get my self-concept course, darling. And soon my self-concept course will actually be extended with a lot more helpful stuff in it because I found after a year of having that course out, or no, it's not even a year, there are a lot of mistakes people are making with it, like thinking the assessment is going to solve all their fucking problems, like it's the magic being to life and they haven't done the work after the assessment. So you need to assess yourself in the assessment, Lisa, and then 
do the work. Or if it's a love-based thing and you really understand me and you've been watching me long enough and you know what self-concept is, jump to the Worthy as Fuck for Love course. I would actually recommend that more for you if this is a love situation, right? Because if you already really understand fundamentally what self-concept means, how everyone's you pushed out, don't get self-concept. Go to the the next course, the more advanced course, it has a three-part assessment about your reactions to love, how you show up in love, how other people show up for you, and then it, that'll fix everything a lot faster, okay? Stop saying you're stressed. Think of yourself rocking that exam. Live in the moment. Exactly. Mental health nursing, that's good. What's this? <laughs> I'm ashamed of all my red brains filled out. Oh, don't worry, darling. So look, guys, there's the jar of brains you have to do at the end of each week, and some of you might be really, really shocked at your results. Don't be shocked. It's okay. Now you know what to fix. Okay. Law of vibration. I hope you're joking. How do we stop being aware of how long it takes? You realize time is irrelevant and you're literally in the now moment and now you're in the now moment and now you're in the next now moment now. And that now moment that was there before is gone and the one you're waiting for doesn't exist because only now exists and you realize, oh my God, why am I worried about time? All I need to do is actually live in the moment now as if it's already done and then it will happen. But I'm thinking of something in the future, but the future doesn't exist. There's only the now moment. I'm confusing about I'm confused about what time even is. That. Don't be ashamed. Fix your diet. Allow to show you feel the same. Yes. Need to pass four hour bout board exam. Oh my god. If I see this question one more time, I'm I'm my head might explode. <sighs> Jesus. Are you new here? <laughs> The Eye of Sauron. <laughs> guys, that's how dumb it is. It's like something out of a science fiction novel. And you guys are all buying it, and I feel so bad for you, honestly. Hi, Loz. Can you take more about the doing after we know it's done? What do we do in 3D? Can you talk more about the doing after we know it's done? What do we do in the 3D? Nothing or something or whatever you want to do. You don't have to do or you can do. It's just your thinking behind what you're doing that matters, not what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, hi, bum bums. Missed you. Oh, I feel like there's nothing to do. Well, then don't do anything. It's better to do nothing. Like Neville said, do nothing. You're meant to be doing it in your mind, not out here. Squad is so worth it. Oh, thank you, darling. Hi, Lords. Can you talk more? I just did. Uh, you don't need a portal to manifest anything. It's about changing you. Exactly, darling. Lords, is the first part of the course still available in the squad? Yes. So the first part of Fuck the 3D is still in the squad. It's four videos, four workbooks. It's a really extensive course. It's not a mini course. Then for the next three weeks, we're doing these trackers. Then we have another week at the end and then it's over and then it's out of the squad. So you've got to get it now for 35 bucks. You get both months. Okay. Loz is amazing. She helped me see so much of what I was doing to myself. Oh, wonderful darling. Oh, I see you. This is Nicole. Thanks. I was blown away. I thought it was way better. Helps to write down. Oh, guys, you're probably shocked that you did yourself when you do these trackers. It's really mind blowing. Loz, SP and I are expecting a baby in March. That's why my self-concept dropped a few weeks ago. I wasn't myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you are happy. Okay, wonderful. Yay, Jenny. Congratulations, darling. I wasn't sure if that was a good bit of news or a bad bit of news. Wonderful, darling. Congratulations. Hooray. Is that why I yelled at you a couple of weeks ago? Why is it that nothing bad happens, but as soon as I try... Hang on, trying someone's trying to live with me. Why is it that nothing bad happens, but as soon as I try to manifest SP, they get a third party or block me? Because you keep thinking that happens, because you're in the state of that keeps happening, and you probably don't feel chosen or good enough, and so they'll you're manifesting the third party. You're manifesting them in. That's why. Hi, Loz. Can you talk more about the doing? I did. You can get all of Fuck the 3D now, but once it's gone, it's only on the website. Yes, guys. It'll be a much more increased price on the website, so get it now in the squad. And Jenna will enter you soon. There's about 16 people, 19 people waiting at the moment. Are the prompts in the mental diet book the same for every day? Yes, because I like I want you to really assess every day what you're thinking, right? You can write whatever you want in the written area, right? When I say morning, afternoon, nighttime, you can write whatever you like there. You could write some new affirmations you've been thinking. You could write a new story you're thinking. Or you could write the shit you've been thinking. It's up to you how you utilise it. I left it a bit more open-ended so you guys can use it however you like. It's just the assessment part of kept the same. Okay. What book should I get? Which Neville ones? Any Neville book, darling. Just get a reader. It's got all the books in. Um, SP told me he loves me, but didn't. But I didn't say it back. What do I do? Just to assume he doesn't care that you didn't say it back. He knows you love him, or it's not a problem that you didn't say it back. Stop thinking that's a problem. Don't have to do anything. But can I physically get more attractive, or they'll just think it? Yes, guys. I'm 46 in two weeks. Do I look 46 to you? 
<laughs> I don't mean to be like bigging myself up here, but like there's a skin smoother thing on. But like I look younger now than I did about three years ago, I reckon, just purely with my mind. Okay. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Forty six years. <laughs> I used to send multiple messages in these lives until I actually listened to you and realised mm -hmm, that's what I'm, uh, realise what? Realise what? Lots of psychic said my SP isn't my destiny. Please help. I'm so confused. Well, it won't be, Antonio, because you think that. That's why the psychic said it. The psychic's reflecting you. What, what aren't you getting about psychics? They're reading you, darling. They're readers. So do you think he's not your destiny? Oh, that's exactly why you went to the psychic in the first place, to find out, because deep down you have a fear that he isn't. So he isn't because you think that. What about thought reflection aren't you understanding? Please watch all my videos. You sound hella confused. Um, um, agreed, Loz. I'm 45 and I know I look better than in my 30s. Yes, exactly. Loz, my birthday is the 25th of August. Is that yours? I'm 26th. Oh, is it, darling? All right. <laughs> We're crazy Virgos. <laughs> Not that I believe in star signs, but I really do have those annoying Virgo traits really a lot, except the neatness. I'm not neat at all. If you looked at my house at the moment, if the green screen wasn't on, you'd be like, oh my God, what happened? Hang on. Do you know what's going to be next month's mini course? I'm curious. It's going to be manifest all the things. And I'm putting it together at the moment. And it's going to be about manifesting either monetary items, objects, things like a baby, a house, a car, a holiday, a promotion, uh, being the boss, respect from your family, respect from your co-workers, whatever thing, the specific thing you actually want or a specific person, whatever the thing is, we're going to get really hardcore on visualising, on how to create those things out of thin air, how I'm really good at manifesting things and I actually am a master at that. My house is literally full of things I have found and I've created in my mind first and literally found them either in shops or for free or someone's given them to me. I'm like a like a, a voodoo master of <laughs> manifesting specific things, right? And I'll show you objects in my house and how I manifested them and go through the process, either my car or my furniture or um, staff that we've manifested in our team. Like you've just, I'll teach you how to get really clear on the thing to then manifest it. And there'll be a lot of guided meditations. There'll be a lot of... Um, visualization prompts for you guys for specific things for yourself and there'll be a lot of um, really understanding how the process of creation purely from your mind actually happens so it'll apply to a specific person love everything mm -hmm. that's after this course finishes after fuck 3d finishes great Loza, yes I'm 41. Oh, wonderful. Loza had a dream that I was affirming about my SP. Haha, I'm manifesting in my dreams now. Oh, wonderful, darling. How do you affirm against not being prioritized as a child since dad was an alcoholic? Okay. So you can either revise your childhood and manifest that that never fucking happened in your mind. So imagine a childhood where you were prioritized and he wasn't prioritizing alcohol over you and the rest of your family. See him loving you, giving you attention, never being an alcoholic. You can do that if you can. If you can't, then step into the state now of the girl who's prioritized and see your dad treating you differently now and see yourself always getting time and attention. I always get my needs met. People always give me what I need. They always give me the time and love and attention that I crave. I don't feel unprioritized anymore. They always prioritize me. They always put me first. So those things, darling. Um, 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 can we manifest next people? We don't fully believe self-concept stuff. You don't have to believe yet that you're fully the new you. You just have to step into the state of it. It doesn't mean full belief. You don't know when you've started believing, guys. You can't possibly know. It's a process in your mind that you have no control over, okay? Even though I affirm I'm enough chosen, sometimes still feel I don't deserve love, just keep affirming. So where are you getting that from, darling? You feel you don't deserve it. Has something happened to you where you were abused or used in your childhood or made to feel really not, badly not good enough and so you always feel like when it comes along, either it's not going to stay or you deep down aren't worthy. Does someone make you feel unworthy? That's what you need to uncover. Um, oh, lost my place. What affirmations can I say if SP has ghosted me for a month? So how did you manifest that, the ghosting? Did you think, oh, my God, I said something wrong or I've been a bit too needy and clingy or he doesn't want me anymore or he wants that girl or he always flakes on me or he doesn't actually want this? What were you thinking? Uncover it. Fuck, I was thinking he didn't want me. I was thinking he liked that girl at school. Next minute he's going out with her and ghosting you. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh, body, my daddy gave me a hat. Thank you.
Thank you, darling. Right, and thank you for the roses. So uncover that and then think the opposite. Of course I didn't do anything wrong. Of course he loves me. He wants me and only me, right? And uncover your self-concept issues around that. Loz and I manifested each other. We absolutely did. We absolutely manifested each other, Jenna and I. It's so crazy, the story. Actually, I'll use that in the course, Jenna, that crazy story, because it really is. The clock you found. Oh, the clock I found. Yes, I'll do the story about the clock. Yes. <laughs> and my, my dishwasher. <laughs> yeah, I'll do, I'll do a story about half the furniture in my house, honestly. I'll just walk around my house and tell stories. <laughs> and my car. Maybe I'll do half of it from my car. Um, oh my God, the weather. Is it bad if we consciously manifest the third party gets her karma? Darling, karma really isn't a thing. It's a belief in thought reflection, right? Thought reflection is a real thing, yes, but you've just attached a religious belief to it, right? So if you mean gets her karma, like something bad happens to her, why the fuck would you want that? Fun fact, mental diet is more helpful than affirmation, scripting, visualisation, all the above. Your self-concept is the key. MD reflects your self-concept. Mental diet reflects your self-concept, yes. All of the above. Guys, mental diet is what you're doing all the time, what you constantly consume in your mind. Do you know what it is? If you don't, please come and get this in the squad. Guys, if you're wishing bad things upon someone else, do unto others as you would have done unto you as the golden rule, it'll just backfire, darling. That's what karma is, and it'll backfire on you. Why are you seeking revenge on that person? Why don't you understand that you manifested the third party with your thinking about you not being chosen by your person? You manifested her, darling. Why are you getting all angry at her? You created her. Go and do my Banish the Third Party Sleep Tape, my most popular video on YouTube, and in it, do I mention the bitch at all? Uh, no, because it's all about you. And most people probably listen there, lying there going, when's she going to talk about a third party? Yeah, I don't because you created her with your mind. So now you have to uncreate her with your thinking about yourself. Oh, my God, this whole thing's about me. That's how you created the bitch in the first place. Oh, fuck. Mm, where are we? Best way to manifest a remote job. Well, that could be a thing in the course that you manifest, okay, and manifest all the things. So you could be imagining yourself sitting at home in your pyjamas, in your pants, doing a Zoom in your pants, right? <laughs> like they can see your top half. You look all, you look all um, business. You're all business up top, holiday down the bottom in your, in your pyjama pants. That's a remote job, wouldn't it be? So I sit here with my slippers on. You guys can't see my slippers because I'm working from home. So what would imply you have a remote job? Have visualisations like that that imply you work from home. Mm -hmm. Hi, Loz. What do we get if we join the squad? What do you get? Okay, so you get the Fuck the 3D course, the rest of this course, plus the beginning of it. It's a two-month course. You also get the Make Them Obsessed mini courses, always in there. Plus you can watch me coaching others. It's every two weeks. And at the moment you can watch all the replays that are in there. There's hundreds of them, I think maybe not hundreds, maybe like 60, 70 of them. Then I go live every Friday. You can ask me questions like this live, plus the mentors and other members of the group are in there to answer your questions every day in the Q&A forum. Mm -hmm. And you can read all the success stories. Stop me! You also get us squad mentors. Yes, the squad mentors. I should be using my mobile microphone. Thank you so much, darling, for sending that lovely gift to me. How lovely. I should have waited till my birthday. It took so long to get here. I should have opened it on my birthday, shouldn't I? <laughs> squad value is off the chart. Yes, guys, I really should be charging you like 135, but... I'm not. Well, it was one year ago, I was ghosted, but now I have a loving relationship. Oh, wonderful, darling. Fuck that old SP. Or is it the same one? <laughs> wonderful. It's not like that. You're not understanding me. Lorraine, what are you talking about? What's your question? I can't even see what your question is. Um, what are you talking about, Lorraine? What, what's Lorraine banging on about? The cat is not meowing. Is she okay? <laughs> yeah, where is she? Oh, she's right here asleep next to me on the chair. You absolutely make my day when you're on live. If I start to feel crappy, I go back to your videos. Oh, wonderful, darling. Uh, what was your question, Lorraine, that you're going on about and people are trying to correct you? Favourite financial abundance affirmations. I get all the money that I deserve. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly. No one takes from me. Everyone gives to me. People give money to me willingly. I make money in my sleep. Money rains down on me like water. I am so financially abundant. I don't want for anything. So those things. I've been manifesting and my best friend just got contacted by her ex and he said everything I want for me. Oh, well, that's kind of birds for land, darling. So it's kind of confirming that it's working. It's just working for someone else in front of your eyeballs. Don't worry about it. 
Um, I keep dreaming of being in a relationship with my dream partner married. What does this mean? Well, give it the meaning that it means it's happening. Get her free mini course, Everything You Learned About Manifesting Is Wrong. Yes, guys, look, if you're really confused about this, go to subconsciousloss.com on my link tree and click all the freebies. There's New Year, New You, which gets you in the state of the new year this year. It's a written course. Then there's a video and book course, which is Everything You've Learned About Manifesting Is Wrong. That's the fundamental course about, foundational course about manifestation and awareness. Go and read that and watch the video. Or there's a little perfect person checklist if you're trying to manifest a person. Get all three. And then you get on my Subconscious Laws letter, which is my free newsletter every Wednesday that drops in your e-box, and it's a lesson, okay? And they're really helpful. We're up to about Laws, Laws letter number 100 and something, aren't we, General, or something? What's this, Daniel? Whenever I say stuff like I look so much younger than I am, it's repeated back to me. Oh, good, darling. Lorraine, who are you watching? What kind of question is that? Oh, where's the question that Lorraine wrote that everyone's like getting their knickers in a twist about? I'm not going to go up. What did you say, Lorraine? Lois, do you know why we can't change circumstances? <laughs> okay, now I know why everyone's going nuts. You can. The only reason why is because you think you can't. Well, at the, please be in my course right in my squad right now doing this course. Please, please don't be in my squad right now telling me you're doing this course and you just ask that question. Are you in the squad and you ask that question? I think you're in the squad, aren't you? If you're in the squad, you would know that there's no point asking that question because you created the circumstances. If you can't change them, it's because you haven't understood that you caused them and you haven't stepped into the new state of you who has changed the circumstances, whose circumstances are different, who's in a new reality. You're still living in the old fucking reality. That's why. That's why. Guys, that's why I say you can fail at this. So many people blow hot air up your ass and say, it doesn't matter what I do, I can't fuck this up. Yes, it fucking does, Lorraine, because you think you're going to fuck it up. You think you can't change the circumstances, so you can't. You're constantly in the old state of you and not the new state. So, yeah, your circumstances won't change. That's why, because you haven't changed. When I talk, are you listening? <laughs> right? That's why people just went nuts at you. My hair client got his son back after six months. I told her to persist on her story. Her son back? What happened to him? Oh, wow, amazing, Marjorie. I was happy to manifest a guy I've only seen two times and lives far away. We stopped thinking he lives far away. Stop thinking the two times matters to see ourselves together. What are your thoughts on time? Time is irrelevant, guys. It's a human construct. We're in the now moment. Now we're in the other now moment. Now those now moments are gone and we're in this now moment. What do you mean? Um, guys, why are your opinion questions? When I've already answered them. If he blocked me but he's liking my post, what do I affirm? You stop thinking you're blocked by him. You live in the reality that you're not blocked. You live in the reality that you talk all the time and you don't even need to be worrying about blocking. My brother's sending me a message. Um, what are your thoughts on time? I saw that one. He's not been responding to my Snapchats, but it's Snapchatting other people. Well, darling, you're in the state of he doesn't want me. You're in the state of he wants to talk to other people. You're in the state of I need to do things to make things happen. Please come to the squad and do fuck the 3D. You're fucking with the 3D, checking the 3D, and then ruining your manifestation by doing that. Guys, if you're fucking with the 3D or caring about what's happening on social because you're really not understanding this, you really need to come and get fucked the 3D. This mental diet diary is part of the course. It's only 35 bucks. It's a fucking no-brainer if you guys are in here asking me about socials. Since everything is a mirror, how does my business reflect me? Okay, so if you've got a dominant story that things always go wrong for you, your business will start to go wrong. If you've got a story that other people are competitive or there's other competitors, you'll find a whole lot of competitors copying your shit or you won't be able to sell what you are selling but they'll sell outsell you it's whatever you think about you so what do you think about you that correlates to your business absolutely you won't charge what you're worth you'll undercharge mm -hmm. he moved out with a crazy bitch and was spiraling into a bad state she is happy he is free now marjorie what are you on about circumstances 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 what's your question it's us, not angels. What are we on about here? I feel like I'm going crazy. I'm trying to persist in the news story, but my old thoughts just won't. Are you doing this fucking course? You fucking need it. 35 bucks. Guys, if you're spiralling, please come and do this. It'll help you so much. Oh, not angel numbers. Oh, no. I want to create passive income but don't know what route to go down, how to manifest best decision. Just decide your brain decides for you, darling. I'm going to wake up in the morning and it's going to make a decision for me and go to sleep asking your subconscious mind to find the answer for you. Loz, how do you get rid of old story of SP? Guys, it's always the old story of you. 
So, Lizzie, you know what the old story of you is. I told you a million times. You've had two calls. You know what it is. So if you don't change the story of you that you won't be chosen because there's something wrong with you, then she won't choose you. It's not about her, darling. So have you fully and completely decided that it doesn't matter what you do, what you look like, how you are, what you did, that person will choose you because you are the most chosen, chosen person, because you are the best choice, because there's nothing fucking wrong with you, because you are perfect. In God's eyes, you are perfect because you are God. So you've got to decide you're perfect. Have you decided you're perfect? Because you are, but you're telling yourself you're not. Then you're finding reasons why she won't, and that's the story you're creating about her. But it's really the story about you, darling. That's how. Thank you. That's why I'm doing, and I've been seeing angel numbers and seeing him lately. Oh, my God. Angel numbers. I keep dreaming of being in, if you guys want to see angel numbers, go ahead, but you're just manifesting those numbers, you understand? Like go and manifest as many angel numbers as you like, but when you see 888 or you think the Lions Gate portal is a thing, you're reading into the 88 and thinking it means something and giving it meaning. Go ahead if you really want to, guys. If you keep seeing 1111 everywhere and deciding, like last night at dinner, our, our dinner price was 7770. It's 777 and my brother's fiance said, should I buy a lottery ticket? It was 777. I said, well, go ahead because she believed that 777 meant something good, <laughs> right? And we're inside this Thai restaurant with all these lucky charms and, and you know, cats with little paws and elephants with their trunks up and they're all superstitious in there. And I was like, well, <laughs> go. This is the most superstitious restaurant I've ever been into. Like if you go buy a lottery ticket now, it'll work for you because you believed it, Right? Loz, what if God doesn't want something to happen, like end up with a specific person? You're God, darling, so you're deciding that. So what do you mean? What is scripting the end better than scripting about getting a text? Why? Because the end is where your manifestation is, isn't it? So why are you messing with the middle? You could get a text and they send you a text. Hi, I miss you. And you go, I miss you too. And then you never get a message again. And you go, Fuck, what happened, Loz? Oh, I was just wanting him to tell me he missed me. I just wanted to hear from him, but I didn't get the relationship. Yeah, because you didn't go to the end. What do you want, the end or the middle? You'll just manifest the middle. Okay, got it, Lizzie? Is there a lag in the 3D? Only if you say there is, but, yeah, I mean, it catches up because it's your old thinking. You look so beautiful, Loz. Oh, thank you, darling. I don't wear my hair up like this normally, but I slept like this. So, Thanks, Loz. So what are your thoughts based on destiny versus manifestation? Oh, my God. If you are God and you're creating everything, is there something outside of you stopping all that happening called destiny, is there? Even though you're God and you're creating it all with your mind. What do you mean? What is SP, specific person, just your ex, your lover, your old best friend that stopped talking to you, your mum, the person you're specifically thinking about? Lois, who do you recommend on TikTok about the law, Sasha and Shannon? Mm -hmm. Lifestyle manifesting, that's Shannon. And I am Sasha official, that's Sasha. Um, 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 oh, yeah, it's me, the red-haired girl from the older days. It is you, Sarah. Oh, what? Oh, you got a new boyfriend. You're moving in together. Oh, I'm thrilled for you, darling. Ah! Oh, you know what? I was just thinking about you the other day. You popped into my mind. Oh, how lovely. Oh, I'm so happy for you, darling. What should I say if my SP is on holiday in Europe and we aren't speaking? Oh my God, you've asked me this five times. Watch this again when it's on YouTube and listen to my answer. Got unblocked three days later. What's this, Danny? What did you do? I was blocked by my SP and immediately thought, he is so obsessed with me, he needs to block me. And got unblocked three days later. <laughs> so that's the only reason why they block you sometimes, guys. When they're fucking obsessed with you or they saw something you posted they didn't like or they're upset with you because they love you so much, not because they hate you. Give it that meaning. All right, guys, I've got to go soon. Got so much shit to do. I'm going to take the dog to the clippers. But yes, Sasha is the exception. She's a goddess. She is a goddess. Actually, she just sent me a WhatsApp and I haven't replied. I repeated, I am God after you and instantly got a text that I've been manifesting. Thank you, Lois. Oh, wow. Also, I, why don't you watch Lois and stick with it so you get success? She has a heck ton. What's this? <laughs> what are you talking about? If you're looking for success stories, guys, just go to Subconscious Laws, my free Facebook group, and read all the success stories and put in the search bar whatever you're looking for, engagement, marriage, money, car, house, right? Read the success. Just search for it. 
We're also building a library in there, but it takes so long because they're all in a Google Drive and it takes long for us to take the snippet and cross the person's name out and oh, it's a shit show. So just search in the search bar or come to the squad. There's even, I think, massively more in there every day because everyone really gets their, it's got their thinking right in the squad. Mm -hmm. I've been abused by so many exes and don't know if I can revise all of it to be chosen. You don't have to revise any of the things that happened with the exes, darling. What you need to revise is your childhood that caused that to keep happening to you now, like Sinead O'Connor, right? She had a, she was in an abuse cycle because of the abuse that happened to her as a child. That's why she continued to get abused as an adult. It has nothing to do with your adulthood. It's all to do with your thinking about yourself and the you you formed in childhood that you would be used and abused, that people would be there to hurt you people will take advantage. So you've got to stop thinking people take advantage. You've got to say, no one would dare hurt me in my reality. That doesn't happen to me anymore. I am safe and secure. People make me feel protected. They always protect me. They always treat me well. Mm -hmm. I have guys coming up to me, talking to me more now that I've been working on my self-concept. Oh, wonderful. Yes, Sasha is great. She's fantastic. But we didn't create ourselves if we're God. I'm confused a bit. Go and read the Bible again, darling. Go and read Neville Goddard's interpretation of the Bible because you're a bit confused. Um, how do we manifest all day? What do you do? Affirm techniques. You are manifesting already. What do you mean? God, look at this weather. Holy shit. Um, how do you manifest all day? What do you do? Guys, you can be doing anything. Telling the old, uh, telling the new story instead of the old story. Affirming, visualizing, scripting, whatever it is that will get you in the state of, in the new story. Mm -hmm. The new you. Loz isn't psychic, but she will change your life. What's the <laughs> What's the question? What if Fatima uh, what if Adam asked you thinks I'm psychic? Will I marry in 2024, 25, 26 or later? No, you won't be marrying anyone, Fatima. Sorry. You know why I know that? Because you're coming into people's psychic lives and beggingly, hopingly, desperately wanting to know if you get married and you're in the state of unmarried. Because you're in the state of unmarried now, single, woman desperately in need of being married, you won't be getting married in 2024, 25, 26, 20 fucking because you're in the state of unmarried, darling. So what I want you to do is go and watch all my videos about a specific person, about your self-concept, about stepping in the state of being married, okay? Imagine yourself married. Imagine a ring on your finger. Imagine your husband. You don't even need to know his face. Sleep in your bed every night with his arms around you. Imagine waking up, looking at your ring. Be in the state of married, and you'll be married in no fucking time. But you can't be if you're in the state of unmarried and single and going around and asking psychics. And the more you ask, the more that won't happen for you because you're in the state of, whilst asking, I'm not married. So you'll see more of not being married. You understand? All right, guys, I'm going to go. You're all hurting my ribs. <laughs> what are you guys saying? I recommend on YouTube. What? They're craving. I don't even know what you're talking about. Will the universe test you once you've learned and affirmed your new self-concept to see if you still be? All right, guys. Guys, the universe is you, right? So anything that happens badly in your 3D that you think is something testing you, so something bad happens and you think, oh, my God, the universe is testing me to see if I'm really in the new state of me. No, it's the old you still there. The old you is still showing up. It's showing you, hey, look, you haven't changed yet fully. Did you really get rid of that old thinking? Were you really stepping in the new state of you? No, you were paranoid and having bad thoughts and thinking things were too good to be true, weren't you? And then, oh, my God, it was too good to be true. Ta-da. It's not the universe testing you. It's still your old thinking playing out. Mm -hmm. the universe yes you're the universe guys my boyfriend already says in a few years he wants to marry me and calls me his queen because i am oh so thrilled you, darling. <laughs> fuck that old sp <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna see you soon please come over to youtube and watch this when i play it back it'll be on my youtube you can also get the mental diet diaries out now in the squad my subconscious laws squad through my link tree or subconscious laws that's part of the fuck the 3d course there's also make them obsessed in there there's also all my other mini courses on my website there's my self-concept course which is my foundational course and you can also get my free course okay then there's also my worthy as fuck for love my extended love course if you're really having trouble manifesting a specific person that's the course for you but if you don't want to do a full course you could do the two mini courses combined at the moment called unshakable love that's manifest new love and unshakable confidence two mini courses that go hand in hand to manifest love and confidence in your manifestation abilities all right guys i will see you soon bye guys